to mini slide program three. The blocks need to be placed on your outer ring of your mini slide, but I need you to remove your six o'clock block and just put it off to the side, get it out of your way. And for program number three, I need you to have some kind of kneeling pad. You can use a garden pad, a pillow, a towel rolled up, something, but you're gonna place that where your six o'clock block was. And uh, today's program has you in a half kneel position. So you're going to start with your right knee down on your kneeling pad of some kind and your left knee is going to be up and you're going to start by hitting your 11 o'clock block with the toe of your left foot and sliding in so that you're getting a nice stretch in this half kneel position. So get yourself a pad, get yourself squared away. The first motion is going to be sliding out to your 11 o'clock block with your toe, hitting it, and then sliding back in. Okay, ready? And begin. So slide that foot out. As you feel like you hit that block and you feel the stability of that, I want you to sink into that motion. I really want you to feel like you're getting a stretch through your uh, hips, your adductors, the front of your hip, your hip flexor. You're going to control that motion, slide that toe out, sink into it, take a nice deep breath, and then slide that heel right back to your kneeling pad. Slide it out again, sink in. My hips are squared up to my 12 o'clock block. So again, I'm getting a little bit of this opening with my hips going on here. I'm trying to get a nice stretch. I'm trying to lengthen those muscles. Our pelvic floor often gets too tight. And right now we're trying to work on not just the strengthening of those muscles, but also their ability to lengthen and relax. And so slide out, control that motion, breathe into it, and back up nice and tall. Great job. Okay, the same motion is going to happen, except we're going to be going straight ahead towards our 12 o'clock block. So again, just know when you're going straight ahead towards your 12 o'clock block, my hips are narrowed or squared up to my 12 o'clock block. My uh, base of support just got narrow. So I'm going to really fight the wobble here and that's going to require all kinds of stabilizing muscles and my core control. So again, everything's getting strong as we're sliding out towards that 12 o'clock block and sliding back in. And remember that you can adjust where your kneeling pad is. So if that distance is too far for you, slide your pad forward so that you can hit that 12 o'clock block comfortably and then slide it back up. I'm going to scooch mine back just a little bit here. And the motion is this entire uh, range where I'm working and controlling the motion the entire time. So as I slide out to my 12 o'clock block, I'm controlling that motion. I'm controlling the slide, which means that my muscles are engaged the entire time, letting them strengthen, working on being strong. And also as I hit that block and can kind of breathe into it and lengthen everything, again, that is just training them to also lengthen and relax. Okay, so here we go. One minute towards our 12 o'clock block. Ready and begin. So slide it out, hit that block, breathe, relax, hit that block, slide it back in. If you feel like you're a little too wobbly, find something around your house. This is my daughter's acrostic. I can just use this for a little bit extra support. I'm gonna slide out and slide it back in. If Because I'm sliding with my left foot, I want you to hold that broom, that hockey stick, that lacrosse stick, whatever it is you need in your right hand. I want you to think about keeping your chest up nice and tall, eyes up, chest up. Remember to breathe. Good. Hit that block. Allow everything to relax a little. Nice and tall. Get your toe to the middle of that 12 o'clock block. Good work. Bring that foot back. Okay, great job. Uh, now I need you to take that left toe. And again, we're going to work on crossing your body. So your left toe is going to 
going to cross to your one o'clock block. Again, this is a pretty challenging motion. So if you feel like getting across here is too much for you, you can hit your 12 o'clock block just on the right hand side of it. But the goal is to really keep your hips squared up to your 12 o'clock block, cross that left foot all the way over to that one o'clock block. I'm getting a big glute stretch here, stretching the hips, the hamstrings, but again, crossing your body so that you can get that pelvis moving and shifting so that we are lengthening and strengthening all of those pelvic floor muscles. And again, if you need a little bit of extra support, it's fine to hold on to something, but you're gonna hit that one o'clock block, you're gonna sink in, and then you're gonna drive it on back. So one minute, and ready, begin, slide it across, sink in, and drag it on back. Again, hips are really squared up to your 12 o'clock block. So if you notice this happening and you're getting lots of rotation, you may need to really plant that toe on the ground in the back. Slide it out and slide it back home. Great job. Slide out, slide it on back. Good, again, I'm just using this lacrosse stick for a little bit of support. I really want to try to be able to get good at doing it without that lacrosse stick and using all my core muscles to sit up nice and tall, but it definitely is a challenge to be able to get your body into this position and control that motion. All right, great job. So now we're going to slide your kneeling pad just a little bit to the right. You may have to change your positioning just a little bit because now I want your left foot, the side of your left foot, out to hit that nine o'clock block. So as I hit that nine o'clock block again, sinking in, really allowing for lots of motion and stretching going on here in my inner thighs, and then I'm going to slide it back up nice and tall. So slide out to that nine o'clock block. Make sure that your foot is right bumped up against that nine o'clock block. Your hips are still facing your 12. Sometimes I like to even put my right hand on my hip here to just guide myself over towards that nine o'clock block. Okay, ready? We're going one minute, left foot to nine. Ready, slide it out. Guide, you can guide with your right hand, just kind of pushing yourself that direction and then slide back up. Hit that nine o'clock block, guide in the direction of that nine o'clock block, and back up. Knowing that all these exercises are just training that pelvic floor to be strong so that you can have the confidence to do more. You wanna be able to go out and run, jump, laugh, sneeze, without any of those pesky pelvic floor issues like leaking. And that is what we are trying to do here today, just train that pelvic floor to not only be strong, but to be able to lengthen as well. Muscles need to be able to lengthen to be able to contract. Good work. All right, great job with that one. And now I'm gonna take that left foot and I am going to turn and hit the side of it towards my 11 o'clock block. For me, that reaches a bit much, so I'm gonna inch my kneeling pad a little bit forward. Again here, you can grab some kind of stick or support if you need it, but I want you to take that left foot, hit really solid up to the side of that 11 o'clock block and sink yourself in asking for a lot of hip motion here. So just go nice and slow on the first couple, get used to that motion, feel like you are really getting some turn in those hips and some stretch anywhere really from here to here is great. All right, left foot to 11 o'clock block, one minute and here you go. Hit the side, sink it down and drag it back up. Good, controlling that motion both on the way out and the way in. Slide it out. Give yourself the chance to really hit that stability block and allow yourself to sink in. Maybe just hold a second at the bottom and then come back up nice and strong. 
great work. These stability blocks are really great for not only guiding our motion and telling us where we need to get to and how, but also for giving us the safety and security of being able to hit that block and be able to know that we're safe and that we can sink in and get a little bit more motion in that position. Good, so hit that with the side, sink in, and come on back home. Again, chest up, head up, eyes up. All right, great job. Now we need to switch uh, to the other side, and I'm gonna back my uh, kneeling pad up and switch to my right leg. So now I want my right toe going forward to my one o'clock block. Again, it's gonna hit right in the middle, and I'm gonna breathe and allow myself to sink into this nice lengthened position here, and then drag that heel back up to my kneeling pad. So hit my one o'clock block, let that hip open up a little bit. My hip should be squared up to 12, and then drag it back home. Okay, one minute, right toe to one o'clock block, and begin. Good work, slide it out, nice and controlled. Hit that one o'clock block right in the middle with your toe. Again, really getting these pelvic floor muscles just to lengthen and strengthen as we go through this progression. Hit that one o'clock block, feel safe and secure, sink down into that motion, get a nice big stretch and then drag your foot back out of it, controlling that motion, using your hamstrings. Great job. Eyes up, chest up, kneeling nice and tall, just being in control of your body. And great job. Now that right toe is gonna to come ahead towards your 12 o'clock block. Remember your base of support just got narrower, so when you slide towards that 12, you're gonna notice that your core needs to be engaged, which it just does all by itself. Imagine that. To hit that 12 o'clock block and then slide on home. So remember, if you feel like you're getting a little bit tired, and your balance isn't as great, grab onto something to give yourself a little extra stability. I want you to hold it in your left hand this time as your right foot is sliding, and we're gonna hit that 12 o'clock block and bring it back home. So ready and begin. Slide it out, keep those hips squared up, and drag it back home. Slide it out, hit that block right in the middle, sink your hips down into it, and bring it back home. Good work. If you feel like you can drop that stick and control that motion, that's great. But if you feel like you're really wiggling and struggling to control the motion, I want you to be able to really relax and get into that position and feel like you can breathe and lengthen those muscles. So I would prefer you hold on to something and feel controlled in the motion than rather than feel like you're fighting it the entire time. So really, Hit that block, feel like you're in control, give yourself the chance to really lengthen, and then slide it back. Good work. Okay, and now we're gonna take that same foot, and remember we're gonna cross our body. So this is where it's really important to keep your hips squared up to that 12 o'clock block. You may have to move your kneeling pad in a little bit. You may have to really put your uh, back foot solidly on the ground there and cross your body, hit that 11 o'clock block, sink in as much as you can, and then drag it on back home. So it's hit that 11, sink in, and then drag it on back home. All right, and one minute, crossing your body. And begin. For me, this one is really a challenge. My big thing is I like to run. I know that running tightens all of my glutes and hamstrings and hip flexors.
abductor muscles. I know that this is really important for me to do to kind of balance that out. We all, as moms, we all um, sit too much during our day. We sit at our desks. We sit at night to relax and watch TV. We sit to drive our kids around. So much sitting just glues down the front of us, and we really need to spend the time to focus and work on lengthening these muscles back out, teaching them to work the way they're supposed to work. With this increased amount of motion, you're going to find success in your pelvic floor function. And good job, rest. Okay, now um, last two. Again, you may need to move your kneeling pad, adjust it just a little bit so that our right foot is going to hit our um, three o'clock block out to the side here. So I'm gonna hit that block nice and solid. And then using my left hand, I'm going to just guide myself towards that three o'clock block. So it's a slide out. It's guiding those hips, really letting some length happen in here. Um, and in here, hit that block, eyes up, chest up and then drive it back home. Slide it out, let that length happen, and drive it back home. Okay, one minute, going towards your three o'clock block. Ready, and begin. Good work. So I know for so many of us, I have three kids, and finding the time to do something for myself every day is a challenge. I know it is for you as well. We're all busy, but 10 minutes a day of this uh, specific, guided, low impact exercise is going to make a difference in how you feel. Your hips are going to get looser. Your pelvic floor is going to get stronger. You are going to have some success with how you feel and how you function. The leaks are going to stop, but it does require a little bit of effort on your part to keep it going, but it is worth it. Okay, great job for that one. And now I want you to turn your right foot towards your one o'clock block. You're gonna hit that on the side. And again, sink in. I'm gonna move my kneeling pad up a little bit. Sink into that one o'clock block. And then slide it back home. Really challenging yourself to get some rotation in those hips. You're gonna feel this, again, all just stretching and moving and lengthening and strengthening as you go. So, ready, last one, we're going right side of your foot to your one o'clock block. Okay, and begin. Hit that block, sink yourself in. Hips kind of squared up, but you're definitely getting some rotation to that pelvis, which you can tell by placing your hands on your hips, hitting the side of your foot, getting that motion, teaching those pelvic floor muscles to lengthen, If you could just spend those 10 minutes a day, really time just spent for you, it is going to make you more confident and more able to do the things that you want to be able to do. Good job, slide that out, take a breath, relax, and then drag that leg right back home. Great job. Program number three complete.